welcome for another video. I feel like I haven't really sat down and like recorded or commentated anything for like two days and that's probably because I haven't done that in like two days because like two days ago I went on this like super long rank tirade and that's why I post, that's why, ow, that's why I have so many games. <laughs> on the 19th I went on this like beautiful walk by the waters with my mom and my dog got home and I was just like, you know what? Like, I feel ready. I feel ready. Let's get to bronze two. Let's fucking get it. Let's go. So I got to bronze two and then I got demoted and then I got to bronze two again and then I got demoted again. Enjoy video one of my rank tirade from the 19th. And then yesterday, the 20th, um, I spent all day with my sister. We went out for lunch and then we went to get ice cream at this like artisanal ice cream place and it was like fucking bomb bitch and we hung out for a while and then when i got home i was like let me practice my adc and then my friend tyler got on and we ended up playing hell games <laughs> now here i am two days later actually sitting down to commentate on like seven videos so <laughs> talk about gameplay like I said, I won and then I lost and then I won and then I lost and then I won and then I lost. Yeah, no, and then I won and then I lost again. Yeah, six, six games. <laughs> so there's gonna be three videos coming up. <laughs> Without further ado, let's get into it. All right, babes, we start off and Nico in the mid lane. This video is going to be all Nico. So Nico in the mid lane versing an Annie. Um, I really don't know what this early game uh, trading was, but it was th a thing. It was a thing. And you know what? I don't regret a thing. I don't regret things. Hello, this is your one and final warning to lower the volume as I am about to not scream, but very, <laughs> very dramatically and high pitchedly, I understand, um, gasp. I'm going to gasp with lots of air in my chest. So, <laughs> this is your one and final warning, okay? Okay. Bitch, I was so fucking blowed that she was still alive because what are you talking about? What are you talking about? You just took so much minion damage and my ignite to the dome and you're just gonna live? No, you can't do that. It looks like I got my lick back though. Like you lived the one death, that's fine. But you're gonna die twice now. That's cool, I mean, it's so far so good. I wish this Vi decided to help me with Wukong's blue, like invading it rather than going top, because I feel like they were going to trade either way. Like, he was so low and so, so is she. But I guess, I guess Vi would rather, you know, be there and like make sure it's secured, I guess. I don't know. I mean, we got the, we got the blue book anyway. I hope you guys enjoy the supercars that drive in my neighborhood because I definitely do. <laughs> I love listening like back, like while I'm playing, I can hear them like literally right out of my window. Like, but while I'm playing or when I'm like watching the, the footage back and stuff, I can hear the engines going off or like they're maybe like pushing down the straight because I'm right by Main Street too, kind of. It, it's nice. Uh -huh. I just wanted to point it out because you might hear a couple of uh, really good lines.
Your girl is 3 0 right now with both sums. Annie, I'm not scared of your teddy bear. Relax. Relax. This is the second time I'm recording this because I keep saying like really long-winded, you know, explanations, but bot lane was doing okay. The support wasn't, like she was trading too much. Like I feel like, yeah, you're getting these kills and yeah, you're assisting, but your death is also important. Like that's gold for them. Like you may have given gold for us, but you're giving gold to them in turn. And it's not, it's not more beneficial for us. It's kind of just mutual, you know? Um, Jin on the other side though, he was actually able to kind of keep his death count really low. So he was taking a lot of gold and not giving it, which was really awesome. So he had a gold advantage. Um, up top, Darius and Alawi, they were very evened out, I want to think. Um, however, Alawi did have the gold advantage because she had more farm between jungles and stuff, Vi was able to take more objectives because our team had pressure for it. Like, we were rotating for them, which was dope. Um, yeah, I think that goes over my entire team. I'll get these songs stuck in my head and I'll just sing them all the time. It's fine. Excuse me. Oh my god. Yes. So I get both in hips, right? I get away and I back and then I know we did one last team fight before we ended the game because we can do that. So <laughs> that's, I think, the conclusion of this game. And okay, win. I see you. Bronze two. Okay. Now let's go to the next. And then. Yeah.
Oh, this game gives me a headache. But yes, second Nico game. I play versus a Zed. Um. All I know for a fact is I did my jungler a disservice here because he literally came for counter pressure and I stayed far too long. And Jojo, when you are low and you are versing an assassin, get the fuck out of lane. <laughs> Do you press back? This one, I feel like I can't blame on myself. Like, I had all of them ulted. I had every single one of them stun. I had a three man stun. And I got no follow up or late follow up. Like, Zach kind of followed up. But it was like, it was at the end of the stun. Like, Twitch kind of just like stutter stepped both ways and I don't know if they like lagged out or maybe like just had like a little spike or whatever and like maybe couldn't see because I've been in that position before but I also feel like you know I feel like I feel like I did what I was meant to do there you know I played my role or I played my champ really I should say because my role was not to die to Zed <laughs> and uh whoops I feel like this game was a really tough start for everyone on our team. Like, we did not start off in the very best positions that we should have. And then when we did get to skirmishes in the jungle or like team fights and things like that, we just couldn't find the right positioning that was best for everyone. And it really costed us the game. I think we just didn't have the right synergy with each other to try and make it work like people were getting kills and we were able to kind of shut some of them down but it just got to a point where we were just not making the best decisions for the win I also feel like our map control was absolutely fucking dog shit. Like, I kept on finding myself pushing lanes when I really actually wanted to be grouping with my team, but I couldn't group because they were literally going to break into our base. And then because I couldn't group or because Quinn couldn't group, like someone always had to be like pushing a lane because we weren't all pushing our lanes out and then meeting to group for an objective. We were staying grouped, moving as a unit, and forgetting that these lanes existed. Like, they were 
so focused on like trying to get kills i feel like and by they i mean bot support and jungle i feel like they were always kind of together they were always trying to look for some kind of kill and me and quinn could only show up to help and assist with that kill after we've gotten proper map control like after we've gotten our lanes controlled to a point where we can like all move as a unit and try and secure something else you know what i'm saying like you feel me Here's where a lot of the synergy stuff wasn't taking place. Like, I know that as a control mage, I, I should have been keeping a very close eye on Zed to keep him off of my ADC, because she is putting down the most damage right now. And I just wasn't in the correct position to do that. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to think like maybe if we used our Baron buff to kind of siege while we had the chance, you know, maybe it would have been able to change something about the game. But at the end of the day, like it, it definitely was our team fight and my lack of crowd control, like my, not even crowd control really, like my lack of control on the assassin because my squishy ADC, you know, can't really kite him um, properly. Uh, definitely costed us the win. And I mean, yeah, I feel bad, but I also feel like, damn bitch, you all had to demote me. Like I had to get demoted. <laughs> Shit, okay. what up, bro? This was so sticky and scary, and I thought I could outplay him. Like, when I threw that E, I thought I was predicting where his W was gonna land. I was slightly off, and I died. But, I mean, I tried, though, you know? I get A for effort, not S for fucking sensational in A for at least he tried, bitch. ways this was a loss i want to chalk the entire loss down to the fact that we just didn't have good team fight bad positioning um lack of map control and too many deaths i feel like hmm. yeah i think i think that's that's why we lost but if you made it this far i absolutely love and adore you thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, and push that notification bell so you don't miss me and all of my glory. Um, if you have any tips or tricks about how I could have played my second game better, or if I don't know a mechanic about an eco that I should fucking know, let me know down in the comments below. If you want to stick around to see the scoreboard, it'll be at the end of the video. Again, thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!